Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be calculating the distance from a photographer to the launch site of the Falcon Heavy launch the other day. Uh, I thought this would be a fun application of some basic physics after watching Destin's Smarter Every Day video about the incredible sounds from that launch. I won't be showing snippets from that video in this video, so if you haven't seen Destin's video yet, uh, I'll put a link in the description to go check that out. In that video, a photographer named Trevor Malman is on top of the vehicle assembly building uh, shooting the launch that's taking place at Launch Complex 39A. So what do we need to find? The first thing we need to find is the speed of sound. Uh, the second thing that we need to find is the time between the launch start and when we hear the first sound in the video that the photographer is taking. And then from those two, we will be able to calculate the distance from the launch to the photographers and we'll check it with Google Maps. First thing to do is solve for the speed of sound, and these are the three variables that we need to know. The first is the ambient temperature at the launch, which I think was 75 degrees Fahrenheit or 297 Kelvin. And then these two you don't really need to worry about because these are just the general values for air. Uh, but this is the ratio of specific heats, 1.4, that's a normal value. And then the specific gas constant R is 287 joules per kilogram Kelvin. So here's the equation for the speed of sound. A is equal to the square root of gamma RT. I have a derivation video for this if you're interested in where this comes from. And so we just plug in those values from the previous whiteboard 1.4 287 joules per kilogram kelvin 297 kelvin make sure the units are consistent take the square root of that and we get that the speed of sound at sea level for this launch is 345.5 meters per second now that we have the speed of sound we need to find the time between the launch and the first sound that we hear in the video so if you go to the video then what i consider the start of the launch is at 322 when you see the darker gray uh, smoke come out and then the first sound that i hear is at 337 and if we take the difference between these two we get that the uh, time difference between when we see the startup and when we uh, hear the first sound is 15 seconds. Last step in our calculations is to compute the actual distance between the launch and the photographer. And so we're going to use that equation you see on the board here, where d is the distance in meters, a is the speed of sound in meters per second, and t is the time from when we see it to when we hear it. And that's in seconds. And you can see that the units check out. And so we're solving for d, plug in the speed of sound, plug in that time, and the final solution is that the distance is 5,100. 83 meters. So final step is to jump over to Google Maps and let's see how we did. So here we are and I'm going to zoom in here to the vehicle assembly building and we're going to right click and then click measure distance and they were look like they were standing about right here and so the other point we can click to drag and if you look over here this is the launch complex 39A so we'll just drag that point all the way over to right there and if you look down here, total distance, 5.13 kilometers, that's 5,130 meters, which is pretty close to what we predicted. Now you can also do something similar when the boosters are coming back down to land and you hear the sonic boom. And so this is the distance from where they're landing all the way back up to where the photographers are. And I measure that to be about 15.29 uh, kilometers. And when I plug in the values that I hear in the video, I get something around 12,000 to 13,000 kilometers. So I'm a little under predicting. Uh, maybe you can see what you get and let me know in the comments. So anyway, that was just a fun little video calculating some stuff from the recent Falcon Heavy launch. Thanks for watching.